If you're invested into crypto, chances are you've heard about Quant. It's been in the news a lot lately, and it's been talked about a lot in the past couple of months. And I personally like the idea of Quant, and some people say that it might hit four or five figures just like Bitcoin did. And if you're one of these people and you just want to store it safely, well, there is a way to store it on a cold storage. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I can store it on Ledger and take it off of your centralized exchange such as Coinbase, Gemini, Crypto.com or any other centralized exchange because it's not the safest way. So if you want to protect your investment, stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to do it. So we're in my Ledger Live and in order for you to store Quant, you need to have Ethereum app added to your Ledger Live. And if you don't know how to do it, check out my previous video where I showed you how to add Ethereum app and add Ethereum account. And if you don't know how to set up Ledger and it's your first time using Ledger, maybe because you bought it specifically for storing Quant, then you can go ahead and check out my other video. And I'm going to leave the links to both of these videos down in the description below where I show you step by step how to set up your ledger and how to add your Ethereum app and Ethereum account. And after you've added your Ethereum app, what you have here in under accounts is you have Ethereum. So in order for us to store Quant, we have to add Quant account. So what we're going to do, we're going to click add account. And we're going to search for Quant. And as you can see, it says here that Quant is an ERC20 token and you can receive tokens directly on an Ethereum account. So basically what that means is that Quant is on Ethereum blockchain. And in order for you to send, you can use the Ethereum address that you got when you set up your Ethereum account. But the only problem here is going to be that you won't be able to see the exact balance directly in Ledger Live. But in order for us to do that, I'm going to show you how you can set it up using MetaMask. That way you can see your balance right there in the MetaMask. But before we do that, if you want to send your quant to your ledger address, here's what you're going to do. You're going to click on Ethereum and you're going to click receive and you're going to click continue. It's going to ask you to connect and unlock your ledger. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and connect my ledger. And once you connect and unlock it, here's going to be your Ethereum address. And this is going to be the same address. And the reason it's going to be the same address is because even if you set up, let's say, your Phantom account or you set up your Binance account, all of these EVM networks are going to have the same address. That way, even if you send any token on any other blockchain that is EVM compatible, you're not going to lose your crypto because it's going to all be attached to the same address. So you can copy this address and use it to send your quant off of your Coinbase, Gemini or any other centralized exchange. So in order for you to see the balance of your quant tokens on your ledger, now what you have to do is you have to actually connect it through MetaMask. That way it will show you because MetaMask provides you a better UI for your ledger to see all your tokens. And here's what we're going to do to see our quant balance. We're going to click on MetaMask and then we're going to make sure that we're on Ethereum mainnet and next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click import tokens right here at the bottom and we can just search for quant and as you can see we have quant network QNT just make sure it's the same uh, token and not some other uh, pseudo token or some other scam token so in order for you to be completely sure you can go ahead to coin gecko and you can search for quant and over here they have the uh, contract address of uh, quant token so you can copy that and then you're gonna go back to metamask click import tokens and you're gonna paste this address and as you can see, it's the same token. So you're going to click on that, click next, import tokens. And now, as you can see, you have the UI of your ledger right over here. And it's going to show your balance once you send that uh, quant from your centralized exchange to your ledger wallet. And this wallet address is going to be the same as the wallet address that you see on your ledger. Now, if you're not sure how I connected MetaMask and ledger, Please go ahead and check out this video right over here where I explain step by step how you can connect your ledger to your MetaMask. That way you can see all your tokens in the MetaMask UI itself. And that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now you can see your balance of your coin tokens on the MetaMask wallet, even though it's technically stored on your ledger wallet, but you connect your ledger to your MetaMask. That way you can see what you have on your ledger wallet. I mean, it's a little bit confusing when you just start now, but if you watch all my videos where I show you how to set up your ledger wallet, how to add your accounts, and then how to connect it to MetaMask, then it will clarify it for you. And it's going to be pretty easy to understand once you go through with it. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up to help YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe to my channel down below and hit the notification bell to get notified next time a new video comes out. And I'll see you all guys in the next one.